Hey YouTube fam, I am Pankaj Kumar, a UX designer by profession. Today I will be creating a landing page for a travel company, uh, the page, uh, the home page of a travel company and I will draw up inspiration from Behance and Travel and create a page from scratch in Figma uh, with that. So how the video is structured is I will start to look for inspiration, create a mood board. So everyone says there is a mood board, there is no, uh, no six speed mood, a mood board is, it's very simple, people just make the things difficult but I won't, I will make it simple for beginners. So welcome to the Figma for beginners episode 3 where I will be going from 0 to 1 and create a landing page or a home page in Figma and I will also explain what tools I am using and I will be using very basic tools. Some sh some shapes, color combinations, strokes, and a little bit of drop shadows, and the magic will be done in this video. So, without further wasting time, let's get into it. So, the first thing uh, when you start uh, pay, designing a page is draw up inspiration. You first have to look for inspiration, and inspiration can come from any place and anywhere, and from any website or any other medium that you consume. So I, I always recommend people, I always recommend my team members to look for inspiration everywhere. So go scroll through LinkedIn, scroll through Pinterest, Travel, Behance, there are so many websites available and even you can uh, look closely into the real world example like how Google designed their web pages, how Facebook designed their login page, sign up page. So that's how you look up for inspiration. But for the sake of the tutorial I will look up inspiration from Dribble and Behance and the Dribble let's search for travel page like and I'll, I'll do the same with Behance as well let's quickly search for travel web site uh, and we will get a lot of results out of it and I will kind of take a screenshot of this, uh, the pages that I like the most uh, I think uh, this won't work and I'll just have to select web design so that I get a better results and I get the filtered results out of it and this won't work oh this one is nice it's, uh, the people wants me to sign up or continue with email what I can do is I can quickly continue with my okay we'll do it off screen just give me a moment Search for travel website and search for filter web design. And I see some uh, good examples. I can see this one. This one looks nice to me. This one worked for me. This can work. This no, doesn't work for me. Uh, no. no. This works. Let's search for. So that I can find it myself, I think this will work. And yeah, uh, I think I have a lot of inspiration to start with this. Let me just uh, make it this full screen so that I can have a clear image of this. And maybe here. Uh, I don't like this section or this section, but I think I can work with their navigation. The navigation is clean. I can use that navigation and even the the hero screen as 
as well is clean. Maybe all the main, the focus is good. Mm. We don't need uh, uh, this pricing page yet or the pricing section yet. I think uh, you can get away with this. I can right under this copy image. Now open up the Figma. I've already done that. Let me make it full screen and create a project. Uh, this is my. Wait for it, wait for it to load and paste that image from here. Okay, now after doing that, let's close this tab because it takes a lot of RAM space. I don't want to waste RAM space because I do need that afterwards while I'm working. I think uh, no, this doesn't work. For me. Let's close this up. Maybe this, this gallery section works for me. So what I can do is I can quickly take a screenshot of it and maybe we can, I can use it later. So let's keep it over here. Let's see another reference I can find from. I like this section trusted by local, so I think we can get this section as well. Let me zoom out all the image, open the image in tab so that I can find the high quality image and copy this image and again keep it over here. So Give credit where it's due, so you know, just don't uh, copy someone else's work and don't. Uh, this the color combinations are not good. Maybe I can use some section of this. No, this one not work. This is not good. I can clearly see this is an work on an amateur. Uh, this I can use maybe this this whole section. Yeah. it over here. It takes some time because it's a long page. You just have to be patient and my PC is not well equipped to use this many resources. I'm recording on this as well and open the Figma Chrome. There's not too much of a, uh, it takes up a lot of space. I have a lot of uh, inspiration and it can quickly draw up. Let me close the Chrome so that it won't affect my performance while designing. Yeah, now it's perfectly smooth. Let me create a frame for desktop and I'll be using a wireframe that is 1440 by 1024. Let me do that. And let me create a grid out of it. So how to create grids is when you select a frame and you can see over here on the right hand side you see it says layout grid and you have to add and select this. Instead of grid you just have to say columns. I will use five columns, not stretch. I will go for center. And the width I don't want to let's say this is I can do stretch and margins. I can do 150 or 150 margins. I've got a switches complete 
vote box for me. Uh, yeah, this works. Let's quickly jump in and create the navigation. How can I create the navigation? And this is almost, I will, what I'll do is I'll re re replicate it quickly. Let me just uh, quickly replicate and save. Then I need. section right. instead of about how many it can be features so it's just a uh, practice project so that's why I'm not uh, focusing too much on the naming and everything, everything but yeah so these are the text fields let's cut off from over here and drag them over here and we should paste it over here so here they are and it's not visible because they are also the fonts on color is white and then you just black instead now I'll have to show which page is this so how I can do this is there are n number of ways I can do one thing is I can just uh, give you an idea let's see how the reference does so they just create a simple line over it so that uh, you enter it so that you know that this is the reviews page right I think that I don't like this thing and let's see how they do it we might have missed that. Sure, this is another example. No, they didn't even do that. Not even the so what I will do is I'll have to think about it myself or I can put it in look at the inspiration from this. But I have an idea around it. Uh, so let me do this very quickly. So we can mostly I see that there is an underline and a font. We change the font weight of this. So let's say this is highlighted. So how can I uh, use this? I'm using frames for everything. So width, let's use this uh, the 24. Uh, width should be more. Let's use 48. 48 works. Height can be 4 pixels. Let's give it a fill color of this. Yeah, this works. Maybe it's just a for now because I don't have the time to choose perfect colors right now. So yeah, this will work out then if I just quickly quickly turn off the layer grids and you see this kind of a shows okay, this is highlighted. And I need to make sign up a button, let's create a lesser button. So I will use width of 72, height of 48, and let's quickly fill that same color we are using for underline. Now it's not it's the primary color for us. Maybe I need to make this 40 and the, I might have to increase the width of this button. Uh, let's make it 96. This works well. And grab this sign up button and make this white for better contrast. And make the edges round. And voila, we have a button. I'm just add then drop shadow effect. So this will be 16. So this is my personal preference. I don't uh, give any X or Y axis to the drop shadows. I use 12 uh, points for the blur and 16% for the opacity of this. So this it gives us a, a nice drop shadow effect, right? And let's make it this center line and give it a 24 pixel margin. I think we have the navigation pretty good. What we can do is we can create a separate separation. So I already have some libraries out of it, uh, which, let's try this, maybe this works, uh, 
but for now, let's just keep it and we make idea around it how navigation can be separated better. And with instead of looking at uh, it, we ninety six MTB. Uh, I have select all the frames and group them and make make them a frame together so that I can easily center the line with the background for the navigation, right? And over here is a logo. Let's quickly create a logo or draw up an image or create and shape to illustrate a logo. What I can do is grab some shapes. Let's grab a rectangle, add a square, make this 24 pixels. I will curve them later, but let's create a polygon and make it as well 28. Let's make it 28 to kind of let's rotate this a bit. See how this draws out. This is a center line. What I can do is we let's make it 24 pixel as well as they align perfectly with each other. This lines perfectly. Now create a circle for ellipse and that will be 48 pixels so that they align. It's just a random logo I'm using right now, but don't create different, different colors out of it. There's different colors for this. I will use maybe this color. Uh, maybe this looks nice. Okay. Group, this, group these shapes together. I have command Alt G and I've created a logo and I need to put text around it. And before making this a group, let's just kind of resize this and put a text um, agency. Um, 16, instead of 16, let's use 12. And yep. this is a turn on the grids. section we need an image and some text for text I'll be using lorem ipsum ipsum right now it's not too big right now but we need a big CTA text and then let's make it 48 this works and make it semi bold then we need a bit more text around it create a copy out of it the size to 32 maybe and don't use use the like regular maybe decrease the size further plus to 24 maybe yeah this works and we need a button as well over here let's click like this button this uh, in the background but I don't want to so that 
uh, we won't miss out on anything but what I can do is I can create a blog and use an image instead of these types. So create a blog, we already have a plugin installed in Figma, you can also download it. It's named as blobs and you can create blobs for as diagrams, let's see. Let's create the complexity a bit. This uniqueness. You know that you better not have this one. Okay, this works. Okay. This is it. Splash, so it's also a plugin you can download. Maybe I need a video and I need to create a video for the plugins I use in my daily work routine. So, two of you already know that Unsplash and Blobs, and I get to use them very frequently. Okay, over here, the table, maybe mountains, maybe I can, can add any. Hmm. Let's see which suits. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Do we need Square is right orientation. It can be square. This looks nice, but this is plus. Let's see, make this as a free. So, filtering is also very important because I don't want to pay for it. the images. And once I find a good image and I find out later that it's a paid one, so it's very hectic. So, it's better to filter out the data beforehand. So, that once you find the image, you will be able to download and grab it. These are the things that take up a lot of uh, time, uh, like searching for a good image, creating an image, you know, creating text, creating, uh, cre uh, searching for the inspiration. These type of things take usually take up a lot of time. I think I might be able to find a good. Yeah, this one can work for me. Let's quickly grab this one. Hmm. Yep, we did it. Let's close this up and make this image a bit smaller. And what I can do is make this this size. So this is vector. It's outside the frame. That's why it was on. Let's make this on top of it. And what I can do is use this. Let's make this one 
150%. So it's nice and spaced out. And what's the distance? Let's make it 40. What's the distance? Let's make it 20, 32. And see this way. Let's change these. Okay, what I can see, change this text color. this to this and here I may need to decrease the font size over here as well because this is white font I need I don't need black let's use 444 four, four. so I already know it's not pure black it's not pure it's kind of a grayish and let's make this no, 48 maybe 16 yeah, this works out well 16 works out well and not 150 but 25 percent will work yep and 32 Let's grab these and maybe make them as tattoo as well. So a nice good headline we have uh, make this headline a center line with the image and what I can do is maybe I need the is there a frame inside? Where's the frame? Where's the frame? Where's the frame? Where's the frame? effect but now I can do is I can decrease the opacity to 50 maybe yeah. and keep this in the background mm. right. or even decrease it even more 30 percent and 40 yeah this 40 works out well yeah it's 30 maybe 30 yeah, this works well and what I can do is replicate these throughout the website or the page and decrease the sizing try and test with the sizing and things and you know change the maybe opacity of it to give it a nice looks I think this works out well yeah and apart from that let's create a quickly create a client section to create client section what we'll have to do is grab images or logos of companies okay let's quickly grab logos of the biggest brands let's grab a logo for I'm just randomly searching for uh, brands. Maybe Geo, just. Let's just put the copy paste the images to our Figma file and create a. And I can run a plugin again that 
is called remove PG. This is remove PG. It will, what will it do is it will remove the background from this image. Until then, this works substantially. Let me grab Amazon Pro. Amazon's logo, maybe. say copied or inspired from many designs so there won't be a copyright issues around these I believe right? but definitely you can credit the uh, authors or credit the designers who have from which you have taken inspiration right? and you'll have to mention the, uh, uh, the mention the authors of these images as well as unsplash uh, says in the uh, common creative license right so you have to mention their names as well so yeah this was it let me know if you like this episode and wants to wants me to create this type of episode, more episodes, and hit the subscribe and like button to encourage me. And see you in the next.